just bought the ticket for the boat. I have about 45 minutes to eat before I can go out. So, so for today's lunch, aspirin and a margarita calzone while I wait here for the boat. I was going to eat at the restaurant, but it's packed, and they also have like a little to-go place, and that's where I got the calzone. Calzone? Not. Alright, but this is a nice little place to sit. The sun is nice, it's not too hot. The weather's great. Alright, so I got my ticket to the boat. Let's see, we are scheduled to board about 2.30. We should be out to the island by 3.15. And the last boat back is at 5 o'clock. So, that gives me about just under two hours to do some sightseeing. I think that should be enough. And then I can ride the boat back and then around that time I might look for a light snack. Well, we just boarded the little shuttle. We're rolling out of here in a minute. Just love stairs. I actually have two. One who can't walk up them and one who can't walk down them. I couldn't do either on this set of steps. Yeah, the deer are that chill, they just let you walk up to them. Look, here's one right here walking up to people looking for handouts. Are you looking? That's how chill these guys are. This one's still mooching from people. It followed, it's literally followed these people until they sat down. And now it just <laughs> keeps asking for more. I could entice my wife out to Moriana. There's a Starbucks. Well, looks like I came at the right time. Tide is out. So. That's kind of nice. And there's some more deer. There are more people at this end. There's some more shops and things off in that direction. Everybody's just walking on it. Like it's not squishy. I really don't want to ruin my shoes. So this is the gate. And in a few hours, it will be underwater all the way up to the, the end of the thing. I haven't quite figured out why people take a picture with a mask on with their friends. Take them off. See your smiley faces.
always put them back on. There seems to be some sort of etiquette for passing under this gate. Everybody's bowing. So I'm going to walk around the outside. I don't want to offend any guards and have them strike me down with lightning and take out everybody around me. I'm a little bummed that we have to leave before uh, the tide comes in. I'd like to see that. But at least I got to see the gate. And, uh, I'm gonna head over here in a second. So I'll rest my oh, so you can walk through that. Maybe I'll take the effort to walk up there. I really wish there wasn't so many steps. Let's go try that. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. That was a little bit of work. So. Looks like a couple more steps. All right, this place, uh, it was 100 yen to get in, and they asked you to take your shoes off and give you a nice bag so you can carry them until you leave. This wood has been walked on a long time. It is polished by people walking on it. Some old fishing boats, parts of fishing boats. This is a big room. You can go all the way around the outside. It's very nice. I guess there's the shrine you can get for fortune. Enough of that, let's talk about this great view. Okay, well there is another staircase. So this must be like the exit side. So yeah, there's all sorts of interesting things on the ceiling. It's very comfortable in here. The breeze through this room is just amazing. So there's another staircase there. And I think that's a staircase down there. I started up there. I've been working my way down the stairs on this guardrail. And I just came around the corner. There's a little tunnel. And it's really nice. It smells really barbecuey through here, so it must be close to somebody cooking something delicious. Lots of shops, <laughs> lots of stalls, all sorts of shiny, glittery bits. Oh, her purse was cool. I don't know if you saw that. I didn't want to zoom on her too much, but it was a vinyl record. Probably not a real one, but uh, looked like a vinyl record. I'm still on a hunt for a keychain that represents this area. I use them to decorate my Christmas tree. We take the hooks off and just use the actual keychain. I'll look through here, maybe I'll find something. Ooh, that one looks nice. I really like this one. So yeah, I just turned that into a Christmas one. I wish they had something just to, ooh, this one. I have a very small tree, but this works. I, 
Well, mission accomplished. I found me a keychain. So that worked out pretty good. And right as I said I needed one, there happened to be one. Oh, this lady's opening the curtains. You know, like just, what are all those movies you watch where they have these overhead curtains? Yeah, we, I never understood how you did that. Apparently there's a rope down here. Now I learned something. There's a lot of snacks, shops, sweets, all sorts of souvenirs, gotcha pan, food, lots of food, portraits, a sandwich shop. Let's uh, meander back over towards the boat, get us a vending machine drink, and take some aspirin. Well, there's my boat. It's just pulling in, and uh, I guess I got about a couple more minutes before I can exchange my ticket, and then we'll do that. Get in another line to get seated. All right. Thank you. I just got off the boat. I just walked past the atomic bomb dome and heading back towards my room. Now, there's a 7-Eleven convening here. There's the restaurant I ate at last night just over here. And my room out that way. I think it's early enough. I might look through this area and find something. But it did, now that the sun's come down, it's gotten a little chilly. Especially after getting off that really warm boat. So, let's go hunt down some thing yummy. So this particular restaurant is literally like two minutes from my room. And all they do pretty much is okay, you have to not still pronounce that wrong. You can get some side dishes, some beans, and some other things. But as you can tell, this gentleman is working this grill. And it's pretty packed. There's still a couple of open cases, but sitting at the bar is always entertaining. Completely different texture. This is um, not, this is the soba nubu, but they're crunchy, right? I believe that's what I ordered. I don't know. Ordered a medium, and still pretty big. Right. It's really tasty. All right, so this little restaurant right here, I just had my second. Oki Yokonaki. Again, I'm saying that wrong. I just know I am. Um, but here's their sign. Let's see if I can get in focus. Uh, Google says that it's actually around the corner when you're coming down the street. Don't ask me why. Just look for this red overhang. Can't miss it. And people line up to get in there to sit down. I guess the X's means those are days are closed. It looks like Wednesdays and Thursdays. That's a bummer. I'd come back tomorrow. But uh, yeah, that was really excellent. Um, they allow you to do your own noodles. So I had the medium noodle size uh, soba, which was thin and hard. They're kind of cooked, a little crunchy. And then you basically decide what additional toppings you want or don't want and uh, they make it in a few seconds it's really good um, I liked last night and uh, I like tonight's and I would say they're both pretty equal um, just depending on what you're in the mood for I liked last night's because it was just a one and done he you know it's preset you get get what they have and uh, especially for a newbie you get to experience it here, you get to kind of customize it. Now back to the room.